My name is Aaron with Superior Singing Method, and this is tips for singers who think they suck. Okay, tips for singers who think they suck. First of all, let me just say, you probably don't suck at singing. You're probably not as good as you wish you were. You're probably not as good as Ariana Grande or Justin Bieber or what, uh, whatever, whoever you listen to, doesn't matter. But the fact is, singing is a muscle. You can build a singing voice. Anybody can sing. And so that's what I'm here to tell you. So here's some tips for singers who think they suck, which sounds like it might be you. This is gonna be a really great one. This is gonna help you if you actually do it, right? Not just watching the video isn't necessarily gonna help, but if you do what I say, do the things that I say and do them on a regular basis, you will start noticing some, some serious improvement over just a, a short period of time. So let's jump in. Uh, this one is, is a, I'm calling it an ah-ooh exercise, but actually it's more of an ooh-ah exercise, so I think I'm gonna change the name of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the exercise, but then I wanna tell you kind of how to do it and what the benefits are and that kind of stuff. How does that sound? All right, here we go. So it goes, uh, ooh, ah, I'll do it one more time. Ooh, ah. And if you're, you know, if you're, don't have exactly the same vocal range as I, as I do, just start somewhere, not in the top of your range, not like, ah, you know, like way up there. Just go somewhere in the, in the top-ish of your range and just go, ooh, ah, wherever that is for you, it's fine. You don't need to have my exact range. Okay, so here's the thing. We're doing a couple of things here. People tend to crack and break if they're singing, their, their voice cracks or breaks or whatever, which is obviously super embarrassing. Um, I've been there uh, plenty of times and one time I can remember dramatically singing in front of a big crowd. I'm not gonna get into that right now. So anyway, what this does it, is it helps, it helps smooth out those, those transition periods because most, most places that we break, break and crack it's mostly between the head voice and the chest voice, or just between our different transitions of our different registers. For me, for a guy, it's mostly um, the chest voice, uh, right, and head voice, uh, up there. And it's what, somewhere right in between there is usually where the crack happens. So this exercise, when you do it, you know, do it over and over for a period of time, it's gonna begin building muscle memory inside, it's called your passaggio, you know, that different, the passageway from your head voice, your chest voice, and your different registers. It's gonna begin building the muscles in that area so they link together more so they're stronger that when you're singing in that area your voice isn't going to crack and it's not going to break you're going to have and so you'll have a, uh, a stronger mixed voice is what that is what we want is what's called a mixed voice or blended voice blended because it's blending the chest voice and the head voice right so you'll be able to sing more powerfully in your high notes as well if you're not familiar with the chest voice and head voice uh, head voice is also called your call voice the call is like hey hey Hey, like if you're calling somebody across the street, your call voice, hey, that, and then I go down to my chest voice. That's your head voice is up here, hey, chest voice is here, where I'm talking now. Most people talk in their chest voice, so hey, 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 that's your chest voice. So we want to get this nice blended, blended voice, and this exercise is going to help. Here's another thing uh, about this exercise, though. So when you're going, Ooh, uh, I want you to try and stay in your chest voice for as long as possible during the ooze. So when you're doing the ooze, and I pick the vowel ooh very specifically because ooh, the ooh, it helps you. Um, it helps you in those transition areas not to split apart. Like an ah, it's actually a lot harder to hold the vowel like ah, which is an open vowel, ah, in through that passageway. So what I want you to do is do the ooze for as long as possible in your head voice, and then as you're coming down, when you switch in your chest voice, then you can move into, into the ahs. Because you'll notice that um, maybe even for you, what we want that blended voice, with the ooze, you can go ooh. You hear that? See, there's no splits or cracks or breaks in the middle there, and that's gonna be the goal, and the ooh is a lot, a lot easier than the ah to do that. So it's a little, a little voice hack for you. So um, the, the last thing I wanna say about this is, the, the reason I want you to stay in your chest voice as long as possible in the ooze is because the way that we create a better blended voice and have a better mixed voice and be able to sing higher notes with more power and less strain is by bringing, is strengthening the muscles in the chest voice to bring the chest voice muscles down, strengthen the ones at the bottom level of your chest, of your, I'm sorry, did, did I say head or chest? 
I'm going to say this again, head voice, we want to expand your, your, your head voice down rather than expanding your chest voice up, we want to expand your head voice down. And what I mean by that is I want the muscles at the lower end of your head voice before you transition into your chest voice, I want those muscles to strengthen. That's what's going to connect there, build those muscles, build that link, and have you stop straining. Now listen. I know you started this video for singers who think they suck. Maybe you're a total beginner and you're like, he's saying all these words and I don't, the chest and the blended and the passage, I didn't even say passaggio, but that's in, in the, the passageway and the transition. None of that stuff matters. You don't need to know any of that stuff. All you need to do is do, the, do, do this exercise the way that I'm, I'm showing you how to do it and do it, you know, 10 times, 10 times a day, something like that, and start watching yourself get this nice big mixed voice. Now listen, I've got something very special for you here. Um, if you click the link below, I've created this quiz. So it's a fun quiz, but it's not just fun. What it does is it helps you specifically, it's tailor-made for you to find out what your number one singing killer is. See, I found out that there are a handful of singing killers that most people struggle with. And if you can find out what your number one singing killer is, and you can focus specifically on that rather than just like focus on singing in general, that you'll get, you go a lot further, a lot faster with your singing. So what'll happen is you'll take the quiz, it will identify what your number one singing quiz is, and then I'll send you a free video that addresses your particular tailor-made number one singing killer, and I will help you fix that with that video. So click the link below to uh, find that, and leave me a comment if you have any questions or thoughts or other videos that you want me to do. I'm Aaron from Superior Singing Method. Thanks for uh, watching. Click the link below.